It's the backbone of the Armenian Apostolic Church in North America. St. Nerses Armenian Seminary is located in New Rochelle, New York. The nine-acre campus is serene and offers a peaceful environment for academic study and spiritual stimulation. This is an important institution of the Armenian Church, um, a critical institution for the Armenian Church globally and, and most especially for the United States, for North America. I have no question of that. It's as modern as tomorrow and as ancient as, as the church itself. The Armenian Church is sustaining a horrific shortage of clergymen at this time, especially in the diaspora, for well-qualified, trained, educated priests to serve in the field. As a result, this, the need for seminarians is critically important, and that's why our St. Nerissa Seminary has its task, has its work cut out for us. We teach them at the seminary that their calling begins not as of their ordination. They have, in effect, answered the call by having come to the seminary. It's a family. It's not a school. It's a, not you know, just a seminary. You're challenged in many ways. You're challenged physically, mentally, uh, emotionally, which prepares you to be a better server. Um, you're also given that freedom to be challenged. And that's something that I value uh, here at St. Nessus. It's not enough to be bilingual, that is speaking English and Armenian. Our priests must be bicultural. They must appreciate American culture as much as they appreciate Armenian culture. We're necessary, we're, we're relevant with other seminaries of other Christian denominations, um, because that's the way it has to be um, in the Western world and certainly here in America, if the church is going to be more than just a museum, but a real, um, a real living, exciting, um, relevant reality in the lives of our people. In total, 39 clergymen and nine laymen and women serving the Armenian Church today have completed a graduate theological program at St. Nerses, and 11 more have studied at the seminary for special courses. Six of the seven largest Armenian communities in America are pastored by St. Nersa Seminary graduates. The Armenian Theological Seminary was founded in 1961 by the late Archbishop Diran Nersoyan, the seminary's first dean. When he came up with the idea in 1961, or maybe even earlier than that, of, of establishing a seminary of the Armenian Church, thousands and thousands of miles away from the homeland of the Armenian people um, in the middle of the United States. Um, a lot of people thought, I don't know if they told him to his face, they thought he was crazy, but I'm sure a lot of people thought this is a wild idea. This is, I mean, what are you thinking? But it wasn't. It was an idea far beyond its time. He is to be credited uh, for the transformation of the Armenian church in the United States from a group of immigrant communities into an American Armenian community with the introduction of English, clergy who spoke English, who were educated in, in this country. In the past, our clergy came from the ranks of the community, from the ranks of the faithful. And Tiran Serpazan believed that the American Armenian community must be able to produce, must be able to attract people who have the calling and give them room to enter the priesthood and serve.
The seminary is currently under the guidance and leadership of its energetic dean, Father Daniel Fundekian, himself a graduate of St. Nerses. People say, we have Armenia now, we have Etchmiadzin, it's free, it's independence, you know. We have hundreds of seminarians there. Um, why do we need to have a seminary here in the United States? Can't we just bring seminarians over from Armenia? Well, the answer is, of course we can bring seminarians from Armenia. And we have, and we are. Uh, and that's a great thing. I think that adds to the richness um, of the church in America. However, um, we also better not underestimate the uniqueness of the American Armenian community. In America, there are 28,000 Christian denominations. So we approach faith as Americans differently, and therefore the clergy that we have serving our churches are gonna to have to be able to, to reach out and draw our people in according to the, you know, where they are, culturally, psychologically. <laughs> Good morning, St. Nurses Seminary. What's a typical day in the life of a St. Nurses Seminarian? Appropriately, it begins with a communal worship service according to the ancient rites and traditions of the Armenian Church called Jamerkutyun. <laughs> After quick breakfast, seminarians are off to class. That would result in the death by crucifixion. Afternoons are filled with study time. A very comforting and wonderful image by itself. Daily chores. Some well-deserved recreation. Evening worship, seven spices they have inside this one. Adraste. And in addition to the daily schedule, seminarians take time to share relaxed fellowship on the weekends. When securing a St. Nerses Seminary graduate as a pastor for their community, parishioners can expect that their priest has been exposed to coursework necessary to lead their flock to eternal life. Tragically, in the last century, the Armenian priesthood was reduced to um, clergymen being ordained simply to serve out sacraments. Uh, the genocide was so brutal to the Armenian church that uh, bishops had to resort to ordaining uh, men who really didn't have the educational requirements. It was never treated that way in terms of engineering, in terms of education, in terms of medicine or law. Now, as we look out into the pews, uh, Sunday to Sunday, we see our parishioners more and more educated, more and more highly educated professionals. And they demand more than just a, a beautiful badarak. They demand an ed educated priest. I'm not here to preserve anything. I'm here to make the Armenian Church and to make Jesus Christ, as the Armenians have known Jesus Christ, a dynamic and exciting and provocative force in the lives of our people, uh, wherever they're coming from. And that's a challenge. And um, uh, it's one of the things that, that really, you know, for which I have a real passion as a priest. That's why St. Nurses is important.